Hello, and welcome back to yet another episode of the Not Good Enough Podcast, hosted by my wonderful best friend here, <laughs> Michael. Friend. Uh, Andy. Oh, oh, no. Yeah, hey, Michael. Oh, jeez, thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is my, my beautiful co-host, Andy. Um, my name is David. Welcome back. It's been a while. Um, not yep. because we haven't tried uh but fuck man we spent mm-hmm. like we it was like a total of like two hundred dollars just trying to get back was it two hundred dollars yeah well i mean you're you you bought the shit 26 well, all right, let's bucks. just start from the beginning you know what i'm saying it's been a while yeah so right. we lost two weeks <laughs> again due to technical difficulties yeah um yeah so what had happened was what happened was David, you want you want to take that over? What had happened to the last mixer that we? <laughs> you mean uh, the first mixer? Because <laughs> remember we got another one. That was, right, really I, wasn't I, even I a mixer. I the first okay. mixer. That's my fault. The second what, mixer. That's what had fun. happened to all that right. power source? All right, all right. Look, so you know, it's like what was it? Two weeks ago? <laughs> two Damn, weeks. Shit, uh, damn near about a month ago. Yeah. Goddamn. <laughs> yeah. Yo. Nope. So two weeks ago. We we come we you know we he comes over we're setting up the podcast we set everything up like normal you know we set up the green screen the, normal the screen, routine the the, yep. the light the mm-hmm. laptop all the cables all that shit right because remember we're in David's living room so yes. he doesn't keep everything all set up you know every single day of the week yeah you know, well, forever you know when we record at your house you there but you know that's... no because there wasn't space <laughs> I don't have space either man. I know that's I'm why we broke. keep it. That's why we keep on setting up. Man, we got to stop doing that, bro. I might just leave it up this time, honestly. So, basically, we got the mixer, right? And, you know, we do the sound check like we always do. And I'm like, yo, this shit's not registering. And he's like, what? I'm like, I, it, this, it, this, the, the thing, the volume doesn't, don't move. And he's like, ah, shit. So, you know, we start troubleshooting. Turns out we just didn't turn on the thing. So he, he turns on the power switch, and I'm like, yo, still not going through. He's like, what the fuck could it be? So, you know, we're looking at the at the adapter, so the, the the AC port, right? The power. Um, And he's looking at it, and he's like, I can't figure it out. I'm like, okay, well, let me take a look at it. Because, you know, if Andy can't do it, then obviously I'm the next best step. You know what I'm saying? So There's only us I, look at the, I look at the cable. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Let me tell you, so it's a cable with like a metal uh, housing and then uh, like a plastic thing at the end, and that plastic tip at the end was a little unscrewed. So naturally, what does one do? He screws it back on. So I screwed it back on. Yet I noticed about three quarters of the way fully screwed that it was becoming looser, and I said to myself. Why would that happen? Next thing you know, the metal housing just fucking falls. And on my right hand, I'm holding the plastic tip. And on my left hand, the three wires that broke from that metal housing and plastic tip. And as I'm doing this, I, I in fucking pure shock, I just mouth open, look at Andy, and I say, I don't think we're going to record this week. <laughs> So we spent the next two, two hours looking for a new mixer, and uh, yeah, well, we're, what we really needed to do is look get, the... get we needed a new cord for yep. the power, right? But unfortunately, it wasn't like an AC plug with a like an adapter in the middle, and then another like cord that plugs into that, and then plugs into the mixer, right? No, it was all one big piece, and a replacement one that I found online was thirty bucks. And we bought the mixer and all of the parts involved for fifty. So I wasn't excited to spend that money yeah. on just another power cord. Plus, also, they wasn't gonna deliver it to us to like what November. Yeah, exactly. I'm not waiting that long. You know what I'm saying? At, le- at least, w- at least we have a good reason to, you know, to miss the podcast episode. These motherfuckers, they, they just uh, I ain't sure that long. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, not a, it's gonna be season three at that point. Yeah. Uh. So yeah. So. You know, we end up buying a new mixer. But mm-hmm. the thing is, before Andy, who fucking chose the second mixer, by the way, the second iteration of this mix- podcast mixer, Andy, I told him, yo, this one looks nice, It's but it's 120 bucks, And he's like, I'm not spending that much money. I said, yeah, I, eh, uh, given. Uh, you know, 120 bucks is pretty hefty. 
you know, and it was just it was just a, a better upgrade than the last mixer. Mm-hmm. So this motherfucker, man, he's like, he's like, I found one. I'm like, OK. And he's like, it's this little one the size of your phone. Just, you know, fatter, but the same width mm-hmm. and all that. Twenty six dollars. Twenty six dollars. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, OK, does it have what we need? And he's like, yeah, it has the little, you know, the you connect the thing. And it's, you know, it doesn't have all these effects. But at the end of the day, we don't use the effects anyway. We just use the That's right. To, to connect. the. Yeah. It the was just a quarter inch uh, uh, slots and it had like four channels or something like that. Yeah, four and channels, the knob to, to for the volume. Yeah, and that's the little volume for them. So I'm like, oh, that's perfect. That's nice, all we need. Simple. That's all. It's yeah. Really we, all we need. Honestly. We just need, uh, you know, the. The two mics to plug into that, and then that to plug into uh, the laptop that we got running over here with the yeah, my laptop, with yeah. the three point uh, three three huh? point three point five three point five yeah right so with quarter box, you know? quarter inch to three point five yeah right? which is easy we got we had all the cables already the cables so I'm like easy. oh this this is perfect you know it's it's made for bands it's made for you know all this stuff so I'm like all right that's technically what we should only need to get right yeah. so he bought that bitch on the spot i'm like 26 bucks all right yeah. i can do that bet yeah. all right it got here it got here what the next day or the day after and mm. he texts me yo i got it i'm like all right bet i'll see you this friday mm-hmm. he's like all right but also i can't come friday uh because me and my wife going on a date so i'll see That's you on right. sunday and i was like all right so he comes sunday morning <laughs> 10 a.m right he comes over we set up the podcast all over again he brings the mixer we, you know, we connect everything to the thing, uh, and then it, 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 it nothing, <laughs> nothing. And after like an hour of trying to figure shit out and just being frustrated, I looked at the page that of the mixer that Andy bought from Amazon. Um, and from what I can deduce, it's only made for instruments and does not have the correct wattage that we need for the microphones. Because we need 48 volts. And, uh, yeah, so that makes it was a no-go. So I which, immediately... Which I'm like... I'm, these don't plug into to, to power, you know? Like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it doesn't make any sense. All right. You know, we, we don't spit out watts like that. Like, come on now. Ah, of course. Yeah, so, um... I after that I immediately just bought by myself the one hundred and twenty dollar one. Yep, the yep. one that you saw last. Uh, you know the, yeah, the, it looks the first like, time. I mean, yeah. honestly, we got it right here, right under the camera. Let me tell mm-hmm. you, this shit looks sexy as fuck, and it feels nice, and it feels nice too. You know, it looks mm-hmm. sexy as fuck. So it's it's basically the same thing that we had before. Better. Uh, that you all saw in pre- previous yeah, this episodes. Purple one you had. It's got uh It's four channels. Um, it's got a little LCD screen. It has six channels. It's got six. Oh yeah, it does. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Well, no, it's four channels. Effects. Uh, no, uh, it can do like a MP3. You know, from a USB. This shit's nice. Yeah, it's it's pretty nice. This shit's nice. This shit's nice. But yeah. I'm not gonna lie, yo, we were kind of scared. <laughs> we set everything up as we do. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, apparently we just leave the mixer to last. Can we just do that shit first the next time? Let's just set up the table and then the mixer. Holy fuck. Yeah, I but, guess we should probably do that. The table, then the mic, you know, laptop and mixer, and yeah. just start piecing shit together. You yeah, know, from bro, there. Fuck, man, we, we had a little uh, <sighs> un susto, as we call, it, as we say it. Um, yeah, this motherfucker, man, it, yo, this mixer, it, it was it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Now this is my fault, <laughs> but we use voice meter to as as like a digital uh, mixer. So it is yeah. See... Voice meter is a digital mixer, yes. so we can get the uh, whole bunch of different programs, uh, you know, kind of channeled into one, and then our, our recording software can just uh, focus on that. To the voice meter as the input. Yes, because, you know, our physical mixers for our physical things, like the microphone, so we could have two microphones connected into one wire into Mm -hmm. my laptop. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the audio, uh, the digital mixer is just to have that as the input for, you know, what we use, Mm -hmm. Streamlabs, to record. So... Uh yeah, so we're we're on voice meter and you know he's going back and forth and like it's go- on the on the thing on the mm-hmm. uh, mixer, it says that we're getting audio, but on voice meter it did not. So I apparently had the uh 
the option where you could hear whatever is you know being said mm-hmm. along with like some type of fucking like interconnected echo shit because every time mm-hmm. Andy put the volume up this shit sounded like I was in fucking paranormal activity mm-hmm. yeah like it was kind of creepy in circles downwards mm-hmm. yeah it was a uh, it was a terrible feedback loop that would bring anybody to it nightmares. sounded like Chicago's tornado siren was it Chicago? Bloop, 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 bloop. That one? I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of. Oh, you know the video. I'm That's very about. eerie. Yeah, yeah, that shit, yeah, yeah. It shows eerie like that. It's so like tornado. High yeah, it's tornado siren, but it's the siren itself is broken. Yeah, no, nah, that shit was weird, yo. Mm-hmm. That video. Yeah, okay. And then the weather is all like eerie and <laughs> shit. Everything's all gray. <laughs> Fucking, you turn around, Edward says his hands behind the door, shadowed up. <laughs> well, what the fuck? <laughs> What is going on? He's terrified from the sound. He's like, yo, bro, you got a pillow? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, damn. So that's what's been happening with the podcast the last two weeks. But, Andy, yeah. let's, let's just talk real quick about what's been happening with us. Okay. Um, you know, I got braids. You know, I'm not going to lie, guys. I, I had a little bit of a Let struggle. Let me see those braids, man. Man. He, man. Oh, man, shit. Man. Oh, shit. Because you, know. you were thinking about getting rid of all of your hair. Because yes, you were like, man, I'm tired of this fucking shit always in my face. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, shit tickles my face. I don't like it. <laughs> tickles no, I had your a face. Rough, yeah, I had a rough week mentally, and it, like hair-wise. Because I'm like, yeah, I don't know, man. I kind of want to cut my hair. It's going to get cold out, and I want to wear hoodies. And stuff, and I can't like with my long hair. I I can't wear hoodies. It bothers my head. Like it's uncomfortable. And then mm-hmm. um I was like, oh, I gotta get my hair braided. So I got my hair braided, and then immediately right after, in my head, I'm just like, I'm not cutting my hair. Fuck these people. Yo, I got hair. I got I got hair. <laughs> I got hair, bitch. You see this spot? Not bald anymore. <laughs> um, no, I got braids, and like immediately, like fucking big dick energy just oozed mm-hmm. out of me. Mm-hmm. In a way where, like, dog, I went to work today, bro, with the do rag on, and yesterday I went to the, today and yesterday to work with my do rag on, yeah. and like just the stun on hose, the you know, showed them my cornrows, you know, I I I tucked in the the flap, you know, the do flap, because uh-huh. you know every time I do it, I do it right, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I do it every Tuesday, you know. Uh... Yeah, so all day, every Tuesday. Yeah, every Tuesday is Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, so you know, I'm I'm just gonna I, I might just get my hair braided every two weeks, honestly. I'm Why not? Shit ton of money, but mm-hmm. how I much? Just, I got a little like a boss. Well, I got it for free last time. Uh-huh. I don't know how long I can keep that up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, it's my ex that's giving uh-huh. me the brain, so. Uh, yeah, it might cost you. Yeah, <laughs> mentally or physically, goddamn. Uh, so yeah, no, but she did a great job. I love my braids. And the only thing is, my hair can only keep braids for like three days. Like this is day three, and like on the on, on the ends is like it's like coming out a little bit. I just mm-hmm. the fucking the, the 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 Caucasian of my ancestry is just mm-hmm. just caught up to my hair, bro. I fucking hate it. <laughs> I wish it was like a little bit rougher, you know, enough to like you know stay. You know, sure. Every morning I douse it in hairspray. <laughs> <laughs> I sleep with a do rag on, <clears throat> and my do rag mm-hmm. silk. Um, mm-hmm. and my silk, uh, my bed sheets are silk. So mm-hmm. like, I just lay down my head, and then it immediately just slides off the bed. <laughs> it's been rough. <laughs> that's a struggle right there. But yeah, that's what's been happening with me. And you know, also, uh, I, I bet yo, I have to realize that I leave shit to last second mm-hmm. a lot of the time. Yeah, you need to stop doing that, man. Yes, because... I mean, people can live their life, you know, you can do that, but it's, it, it might... Up. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it can lead to unnecessary stress. Oh, 100%. 100% of the time. See, my, my situation is not even that bad. Basically, I just have to renew my certification for my national pharmacy technician uh, certification. Mm. So... Um, so I have to do like CEs as like continuing educations, uh, which basically it's like homework. Basically you just do like, you get 20 hours. I need need to get 20 quotation mark, 20 hours of homework done to then renew my license with the, with the United States. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not Florida, bitch, the United States. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I realized, you know, you could have done this shit like three months ago and my coworker, Ashley, she did it like a month ago. So like she started doing it. She's like, "Dave, you need to do it. Dave, you need to do it. Dave, you need to do it." And then I realized that my deadline is on November first. 
So I started two days ago. <laughs> but I got like 13 hours already, so I feel I can crank it out, you know. Well, what drives me crazy you just is... You have to cheat. Sure. Yeah. God bless America. Absolutely. But what what dr- drove me crazy when I was uh, at that company is that you had to do that online learning stuff like on the clock uh, in addition to all the rest of the shit that you need to be doing. Yeah. Because well, it's retail. Yeah. You know, like... I haven't there's, done my manager training. There's there's nobody to do the things that I need to be doing right now, and I need to do this in addition to all that. So that's one of the reasons why I decided to leave, because I knew that was not a good longevity yeah. for my emotional well-being. Yeah. But I, this isn't the company, though. This is the government. Right. But the company... So I gotta come home and... Do oh, it. you get to do it off the clock. Yeah, because it's not my job; okay. it's my license. Gotcha. All right. Well, that's that's a little different then. Yeah. Well, yeah, but it, it cuts into my time. You know, I don't want to do it. <laughs> well, do you like the money that you're getting? I like it a lot better after November first when I get my four dollar raise. Right. Well, yeah. if you don't do this, you probably won't be getting that. <laughs> nah, man. Yeah, they'll find out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They know. They keep sending emails. Yo, <laughs> gotta renew this shit. <laughs> gotta renew it, motherfucker. Yo, bitch, you ain't lying. Your position, that's a requirement. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. We know no, I'm renewing it. I'm renewing it. I'm almost done. Okay. Yeah, I did like three hours of work, and I'm 13 hours. Uh, uh, oh, hours nice. 20. Because basically, it's just like you watch a one-hour video, and then you answer questions. Sure. And you could just skip the video and like get like the phys- like a digital handout of whatever the video is, like the slideshow. Oh, sure. And you could just go straight to the test. And you could just oh. control G or control F, whatever it is, to like find whatever the question is about. Yes. So I just keep doing that. And like some of the gotcha. some of the questions I already know. Like I did like three CEs on like immunizations. Bro, I'm the best immunizer in games though, dog. I'm so proud of you, man. Bro, I'm the yo. I'm like dead ass. The yo. I'm not even like I'm. A, this is the most humble shit I'm gonna say ever. I'm the best fucking immunizer ever, dog. That's ever, in so existence. so I'm humble, humble too, of you, yo. man. In existence, yo. In existence. But, but that's how humble I am, bro. I leave space for the people in the future. You know, there might be somebody better than me in the future, but right now I'm the best ever. Okay. So you know. Sure. Okay. You know. They lucky, man. I'm leaving. I'm leaving them that, that space for them, you know, in the future. But hey, you want a good shot? You come to me. Best, best shot ever. Yeah. You got stabbed by me, Andy. How did it feel? Yeah, you jabbed me twice. That's right. I jabbed you twice. Yeah. About to be three times. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, we'll see. Um. Yeah. It. Uh, it didn't hurt. It, I, I, no, I, I never didn't. get flu shots. Why not? Because I'll get the flu. People, I've That's heard not how that works. Man, listen, I I never it's get. It's not a live vaccine. But I, you don't get you don't get the you don't get flu from the flu <laughs> shot, Andy. It it was a Jeez, joke. Fuck. Oh, okay. Holy God. fuck! Holy shit, man! I can't tell with you, bro. You say stupid shit naturally. Oh, I do. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> well, at least you caught this one this time. <sighs> Over the top. Over the top of my braids, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> It kind of rifled going over. <laughs> no, no, okay. No, okay. Um, what are we talking about? I don't know. Something about vaccines. Vaccines. Yeah. You got stabbed from me twice. By yes. Me, from me. Yeah. Two. No, it didn't hurt. No, of course it didn't hurt. It didn't hurt. Yeah, it was really funny when I got my first COVID shot. Oh. Was it the first? Yeah, it was the first one because you gave me the second one. Wait, no. Now I give you the second one. You gave me the second one, so you jabbed me once. I only jabbed you once. You fucking lying son of a bitch. You said twice. What the fuck? You said three times. I said about to be three times. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, the first first COVID shot that yeah. I got. You uh, another store and got it. Yeah, I went to another store man. because was it a lady that gave it to you. It was a lady. Oh yeah. man, she gives hard shots, but I'm not gonna lie. It was funny as hell when I finally got in there because I'm like. Hey, I'm scared of needles. <laughs> <laughs> she, and she's like, fuck. <laughs> My whole arm is covered with ink. 
<laughs> and I said, I'm just playing. Needle, no, it's fine. Oh, yeah, okay. go ahead. Go ahead, do it. Let's get this over with. I gotta go back to work. Hey, bro, I'm scared of needles, bro. Or I used to be, at least. And I had to have these. Right. But now that I give shots, I don't care, bro. You can put a needle right through my hand. I'll be like, eh. As long, as, as, long as it's not 18 gauge. right through your hand? No, like right through the, like the palm. Right through your hand? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'll give you your, I'll give you a booster shot, bro. That's all right. You'll get best shot in the world, man. Ever. In existence. Well, yeah, I'm going to wait until the, the, the people figure out what the hell they're doing. No, the people, the people know. They made the booster shot public. Well, yeah, I know that. Well, they made it public or, um, there's guidelines, but I mean. Right. Well, once I qualify lie. for those guidelines, just then lie. then I'm. Well, you do qualify. Don't fucking lie, man. You fucking lie. Lying is bad. Only if you get caught, because then there's consequences. Come on, bro, Andy. Come on. Hey, don't don't tell these people that lying is not single handedly the only thing that can save you ninety nine percent of the time. Because if you're lying, it's for good reason. I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Um, but yeah, uh, so that's that's what's new with you. Yeah. What about you, bro? It's been two weeks. What, how was that date last week? Okay. You know, you the, take it, the date, uh, no, no. <sighs> Hell no. Poor we can't get that money for that. What Broke the fuck, man? Broke what? <laughs> no, we went to what's called the Ark Market. Do you guys just like going to Ark? Uh, the, um, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> you guys just like going to markets recently. You guys went to that uh, antique store in High Springs, no? No, we did not. Oh, thank God I didn't go. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, man. Yes. Yeah, that was funny as hell because she's she was like... Uh, Aren't you going to tell David that we're not going to be there? And I'm like, he's going to message me. You know, if he's going to go, that's on him if he wanted to go. Wow. I told you, no, we don't want you to go. We're going. <laughs> I told you I don't want you to go, bitch. And you were like, no, nah, nah, bro, I'll just meet you there. Yeah, but I'll just meet you, bro. I ain't going with you. I'm going to be there with, yeah. with you, but I ain't going with you, you know? Right. And then, yeah, I was waiting for that message to be like, yo, where you at? Yo, bro, I should have texted you too. Just make it feel bad. Be like, hey, yo, I'm all, I'm like right around the corner. Uh huh. He's like, all right, Savannah, we gotta go now. Yep. Nope. No, we never left the house that day. You guys suck, man. <laughs> so what? 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 What's an awkward market? Uh, okay. Just like a regular bazaar. Uh. So the yeah, I I guess. Uh. Yeah. Th this is fuck. I don't remember. Think about it. Where it was located. Uh, it was it was like off of a uh, sixth, uh, Northwest Sixth Street, Sixth Half or Sixth Street. Why are you asking me a hard question? Because I lived on Sixth Ave, so I'm wondering if it's Sixth Ave or Sixth Street. Well, it, man, I don't fucking know. It oh, was Jesus. dark. So it why did, why did you even try to give off the directions? Why would you try to say it's on Sixth Street if you weren't even gonna? Well, because I cause thought I thought it was on Sixth Street. Now you confused so me you even... because Whatever. you were go like, ahead. "Go ahead, yo, I know the area, so don't don't you quote lie it to me because I know better." Is what you what? were saying. So I'm like, Andy, you all smoke tonight, bro? <sighs> Am I? Man, it's been a week. <sighs> it has been a long week. Tell I'm me. so fucking tired. <laughs> um. So, so yeah, we went to this little market. There's a whole bunch of, you know, tents were up and whatnot. It was, uh, kind of, what, what's, what's the term? It's not hippies. What's, <laughs> what's the, what's the other term for that? The modern day? Woke. Hipsters. Hipsters. Yeah. It's very hipstery oh, okay. there, right? But it was really chill, you know? They had, like, live, uh, well, they had, they had music playing and, and whatnot. Like, some DJ was there. And, uh -huh. Does it have a coffee uh, shop? Mm -hmm. Does it have a coffee shop? No, there's a bar. Does it have like a food truck? There's a bus. <laughs> I there's know, a man. there's an old school. You're just giving me bus. Like, you're giving me like shittier alternatives. Yeah. Is there a is there a coffee shop? Nah, there's a bar. What about a food truck? There's a truck, but it's a bus. <laughs> it's a bus truck and it doesn't run uh, it just stays there mm -hmm. the wheels are off yep yeah mm -hmm. um 
Yeah, I honestly don't remember what where the thing was at. But anyway, so they had some nice beer there. Like, so we had that, mm. uh, and we just kind of like looked around and whatnot, you know. So you it buy was, the thing. Uh, not like a bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was it was actually kind of cool because we went. Um, there, there was there was a like a a card, um, teller. You know, somebody uh, that. Fortune teller. Uh, yeah, a tarot, like, a tarot reader. A tarot reader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she had like a couple of different decks and whatnot, and I'm like, I never had cards read for me. This is fun. Let's uh-huh. try this. So we both you, had that. You drown in white privilege. <laughs> <laughs> it's like too history. Yeah. No. Stand um, up for your black brethren. <laughs> you know. Um, this is my house. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so that was interesting, hmm. right? And it was kind of relevant. And then she had her cards uh, read, and it was very relevant, too, which is fascinating. Well, you I mean, know? is it general relevant or, like, specific relevant? No, it's pretty specific. Oh, I mean, really? Yeah. It's like she's dealing with stress at work and all this stuff, and... Hmm. And like it was, she uh, the lady was telling her that, and yeah, you know, she had hard. Uh, my wife had a hard time, you know, for a couple of weeks, you know, coming home and not being motivated to like cook or really hungry or anything like that, you know, just want to get takeout or something like that, yeah. or or uh didn't want me to cook for her or something like that just you she know, didn't want what? you to cook for her yeah she was like oh, i didn't even worth it <laughs> right well i mean she she gets home like an hour before i i would normally get home so mm-hmm. i mean the the timing is weird when it comes to dinner so she could cook and eat and be done by the time i get home yeah. you know for the most part um, cause really it's like an hour and a half. Maybe. No, huh? no, it yeah. is. It is an hour. She gets off at five. She'll be home like at five 30. I get up at six, six 30. Yeah. Yeah. She's not home at six. What? 30 minutes to go to the house. It's Gainesville, bro. Dude, I don't, I, ju- I jumped the corner. I'm at work. I don't get off right at six. I know how that feels. Like I work till six. I know how that feels, Andy. I know. Trust me, bro. Uh huh. I was supposed to leave at five today. Five twenty just rolls around. Yesterday I was supposed to leave at seven. Seven twenty rolls around. Mm-hmm. Fucking last Thursday I was supposed to leave at five. Mm-hmm. Nine p.m. rolls around. Yeah. The next day I was supposed to go in at nine. Eight a.m. rolls around. I'm a fuck with that. <laughs> Got my OT in though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Money. Yeah, that shit sucks, bro. Mm-hmm. Now I know how that feels. So I'm, yeah. So the cars were pretty relevant, nah, you know, nah, for both shit, of us. Nah, and I'm like, scary. that's it's kind of like horoscope, though. Think about it. Yeah, but kind when it, but when it's more accurate and more specific. Yeah, but you know, astrology, bro. Even science. though that we were ask, science, asking like just general questions on general topics or whatever, it got pretty specific, you know, for for each of us mm. which is kind of cool so yeah we just hung out and it was just like the two of us you know enjoying the evening you know you just the cats people watching no 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 we did not bring the cats uh two people had like dogs over there though of course you know people just bring dogs and these dogs are like, big uh, uh, no it's like you can oh, ride them into great. battle this is gonna go great with the main topic yeah yeah so anyway yeah all right well uh maybe uh maybe that's it for the first half of the episode we will be back in a second after we change this background and david drinks something because i am fucking thirsty (laughs) we will catch you in a little bit and welcome back to the second half of episode 46 Uh, This is where getting old is weird because you're still the same enthusiastic kid trapped in a shit show of a body. David, welcome back, man. (laughs) What? (laughs) You thought we were going to (laughs) read? What the fuck was that? Yeah. Uh, Yeah, well, welcome back to my living room. Mm -hmm. Um, I drank some some Kiwi Smirnoff source. Yeah, you Um, really get the waterworks going, man. Yeah, what? Uh, Yeah, oh... Your living room? 
<laughs> it's, it's uh, this is normally the the amount of waterworks that goes on in this living room on a daily basis. No Water. How alone I am. <laughs> uh, Water so, bill must be okay. <clears throat> uh, so yeah. Um, what are we talking about? Was you said I'll remind you, and then you never told me what it was. So what is our main topic? Uh, I'm gonna remind you right now. Ah uh, yeah. Cats versus dogs. Ah. Why do some people like cats, some people like dogs, and then there's those other people that don't like neither? Ah, the other people. The the people that don't belong anywhere in society. No, they might like something else, like reptiles or some yeah. weird weird thing like that. No, 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 no. But if you could like okay, I'm a I'm a I'm a cat and dog person. Okay. But I like ducks. They're actually my favorite animal. I love ducks. So what like man you a quack i'll end the shit early <laughs> <laughs> all right bet <laughs> all right 845 it is bro uh, all right now see you guys maybe in three more weeks you know when we have more tech issues yeah so um <laughs> so like i like i'm a dog and cat person but i, I love ducks that doesn't mean i don't like sure. cats and dogs so like somebody person people can like other things but if you don't like cats or dogs bro you don't belong in society Cats or dogs. Or dogs. So one or the other. You have to like one or the other. Yeah. Or like you're. Oof. So, I mean, why do we mm. pick a dog, the species of dog or the species of cat? Because humans have preferences. Do you want me to go further into the psychological fucking? Why isn't it cat like cat and Impact deer? You know, what? or bison. Bison? Venice. That one. What? Deer. Oh. Fuck. Venison? Venison. That fuck. one. I'm like, Venice. Like, why are you talking about <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with this guy? Venice. It no, was... you know, Venice. Yeah, like, well, it's, it really... it's a br- abbre- abbreviation. A brief. A brief. Jesus Christ. Shorthand. Right. Uh. Okay. So... Well, I mean, because that's just like, I don't know, that's just like the way the cookie crumbles, bro. Like, it's now, it's just cats and dogs. It's not cats and venison or fucking, you know, moose and Sasquatch. Mm. You know, that's just like the way the cookie crumbles. It's fucking, it's cats and dogs. And if you don't like either one of them, you don't deserve to be here. Where should those people be? <laughs> 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 on your roof? <laughs> higher. <man. laughs> Up in the trees? <laughs> uh, All right. Well, uh so yeah, exactly. People Okay, so so I mean, is, is there a difference between the type of person that likes cats versus likes dogs? I mean, there's obviously the person that would like both. Uh, well, yeah, but, so, I like both. That's sure. My favorite, that's actually why my favorite animal is a duck, because I can't pick between a dog and a cat. You know, it's perfectly fine to like one of the two or like both of the two. Um, the, you know, and the reason why I think some people pick one or the other is really, mm-hmm. I, I think like 40% of the reason is uh, mm-hmm. just allergy based. Mm. Yeah. Cause like there's some there's some there's a it, there's a lot more available hypoallergenic hi, hi, wow ooh fuck mm. uh, hypoallergenic dogs than there are hypoallergenic cats which just means just fucking shaving them bald mm-hmm. you want a bald pussy mm. I like a little nature it adds a little flavor the fur coat yeah yeah you know, there's those uh those hairless cats though. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, they're ugly. They look like Stimpy. Look, Remember Stimpy? Yeah. Yeah, they're they Stimpy. look like Stimpy. Uh, Stimpy, okay. He was the red one. Oh, I don't know. I've never seen the show. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Just one time in my life, somebody compared a hairless cat to Stimpy. So, here I am. Just... Carrying on and the legacy. Don't though. even know. No, okay. I have absolutely no idea. He could be a football player for all I know. I don't know who Stimpy is. Anyway, um, so 
So we have, um, like, I am a cat person, right? I grew up with a cat since I was three uh-huh. or four. It was between that time, mm. right? And then now I have two cats of my own much later in life. Yeah, right. much, much later in life. Exactly, yes. Yeah. So I, I have lived three lives by this time, yes. Yeah. Um, but I've never owned a dog. I mean, there's there's different um there's there's different factors involved, I believe, you know, when it comes to cats versus dogs. Yeah. Like dogs are not as independent as cats are. That's true. So you gotta really Water take dog. care of them. You really put time in for them if you really want to care for them because you got to walk said dog. Well, walk this motherfucker, man. Yeah. You out here crying. You got a bad day. Your legs hurt. Mm-hmm. Your heart hurts. Mm-hmm. Your brain hurts. And this motherfucker like, yo, I gotta go. <laughs> but if it's a cat, you're just like, what the fucking, there's your, whatever. Here's cat name. Mm-hmm. Fucking get high. I don't care. Yeah. Uh, cat, cats are fun. Um, mm-hmm. I have two cats and they have two very specific personalities. Yeah. Right. They're very distinct. Right. And, uh, you know, I can tell which one's in the dark, you know, like which one is there because you just, yeah, you just Salem. The one that's black has orange fucking eyes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Your cat, Salem, mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. literally mm-hmm. the fucking poster cat of Halloween. I know. We love Halloween, <laughs> you know, and this is our month, October. This is our shit. Yeah, man. You just you want, your costume is just having Salem on your fucking shoulder. Mm-hmm. Oh, he would love that. He he loves being right up on my shoulder when I'm trying to fucking do the dishes or like cook something. He I'm just to wants anything to, productive. Anything productive. But like, as soon as, as soon as I'm like ready to chill and shit, he's mm-hmm. like fucking just slapping me in the face. Doesn't want anything to do with me. Yeah. When I want him to cuddle with me, yeah, oh, it's inconvenient for him. It's on my time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um. But uh, then Pistachio, she she has gotten a whole lot better, you know. But she, yo, she she rough, bro. Last yes. time I saw her, she was hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's I'm like, pretty Jesus good. Christ. Um, but yeah, she's she she's just angry. You know, she's like, an angry kid. Your your dynamic of your cats kind of reminds me of my my brother's dynamic with his cats. He has three dogs, two cats, and Jackson is very, very, very much like Salem. You know, like the mm-hmm. young, like he likes to play around, mm-hmm. very social. Uh, and then Layla, which is the equivalent to Pistachio, mm-hmm. um, is like super anti fucking social. She's not as aggressive as mm-hmm. uh, Pistachios, but Pistachio is much younger. So I'm thinking it, soon enough, Pistachio is going to run out of gas in the tank. And yeah. she's like, she's gonna be like, I whatever. That, I think that's where Layla's at right now. She's just mm-hmm. like, I, I don't care. Mm-hmm. Like they, they, they always fucking fight and shit. Like mm-hmm. he chases her around. Like he bothers her. Jackson bothers Layla all the time. Mm-hmm. But as like the other day, I went to my brother's house and Jackson just was just licking Layla's forehead, and she was just like, I, what, I, okay, <laughs> I don't care. Now they have not done anything like that. One day, man. One day they're gonna run out of energy and they're just gonna be like, you know what, we're best buds now. But Salem would love nothing more than to groom Pistachio. Why she's underage? Hey, that was a good one. <laughs> that was appropriate. Um but no. No. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as a father is coming out, no absolutely not. Uh, absolutely not. There'll be none of that. She's not dating. Um, no, like Salem will, uh, you know, like lick the shit out of my arm. You know, he'll just, Man, I'm like holding so him rough. and he's like, oh, it's, especially his tongue. It's oh, like, dog. get fucking burned. It's like the, uh, like coarse, uh, sandpaper and like the number is like 10 or something like that. So it's just super. I, I think how the same paper works. It's been years, but it's like uh, the higher the number, the 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 grit, the, yeah. the, the finer the it grit. is. Yeah, the grit. The grit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so. Yeah, I know. Jackson's tongue is like fucking asphalt. 
Yeah, it's it's bad. It's so bad. It, like he likes to lick my hair under my, underneath my my lip and like uh, towards mm-hmm. my chin, bro. That shit burns like Ooh, a bitch. Right here. Oh, Sick. bitch. Now he Salem likes to get my beard and groom the shit on my beard, and I'm like, oh, it hurts, and then I move to get like another side because I'm like, you gotta get that side, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta finish it now, man. And let this like Jackson just come chokes back. on my beard because it's like long. So he's he's like deep throat in my fucking beard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Um, his, hair, his hairballs just have like one red curly hair, and it's yours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. So that that's what he really likes, and you know, so he's very cuddly and you know, loving and all that stuff, mm-hmm. and that's all that he wants is just for pistachio, just to. Like just let me love you, you know. The way I'm supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I've never owned a dog. Um, I've have only you, okay. Have you ever like cold inhabited with a dog? No, nothing. No, How long... it's always what's the longest time you've ever been, been with a dog? The longest time I've been with a dog? Yeah, like two hours. No, probably uh, longer than that. I don't know. Three. Five hours. Five? Damn. Two and a half hours. You know? Damn, bro, I don't own a dog. See, I've I... never lived with anybody that owned a dog. Yeah. I've never lived with a cat, but I love cats. Um, I've always... So when I was growing up, when I was like seven, I, we got a dog. Uh, and we've had we had him until I turned... Uh, until I turned 12. And then we moved to Gainesville. And then we got Simba. At when I was 15, 16. Uh, and now, I mean, I don't live with my stepdad, but I still, I mean, I saw Simba yesterday. Yeah. Manipulative motherfucker, man. Let me tell you. But it's so cute. And I love that dog. But at the end of the day, like, I don't know. I've always lived with dogs, but I can't just, like, put cats over it. Because, like, whenever I do, uh, I am with a cat. I just love cats. What really bothers mm-hmm. me about them, though, is, um, because at least with the dogs I've lived with, they were hypoallergenic. Like, they had hair, not fur. So they didn't shed. Uh, but dog cats just shed everywhere. Like, yes. Lay- Layla will sit on my lap, bro. And mm-hmm. then f- just sit. Nothing else. No moving, nothing. Just sit. She'll leave in five minutes. And I just have to... As soon as she walks away, the, the hair is already, f- like, flying off her. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, Jesus yeah. Christ, man. Yeah, it's... Jesus. It's, it's bad. You know, um... You know, we got uh think about it. Hardwood floors right downstairs and then um carpet upstairs. Yeah. Right. And we got this this uh battery operated vacuum, right? Uh, lithium battery, right? Shark is the is the name of it. It's pretty sweet. Uh but anyway, so mm-hmm. like I it's got different attachments and shit. So like use it as a vacuum. Um, downstairs, I mean, oh, filthy, right? <laughs> and then upstairs, even worse. Yeah. Holy shit! The little container, the uh, uh, the tank that you know yeah. collects all the shit. The filter and shit. You got you got to change that bitch out. Or be like, uh, well, no, the the, the filter. No, no, it, the it's, thing that holds the thing. But that's not the, a the, filter. The thing that holds the thing. <sighs> the thing that holds the thing. Yeah. It's what? Not what a, is dust? Skin cells. Yeah. Dirt. Anyway. And cat hair. hair. Shit ton of it. Is it like changing your carpet color? Um seem a little dark. Yes. Yes. Actually, if if I go too long without vacuuming it, like it does. Like the whole entire container just gets Mm. packed. The thing that holds the thing? It just gets packed, you know, in the one go, like uh-huh. vacuuming upstairs because the carpet will hold everything down and then the uh, the hardwood floor, or the hair will just get float around yeah, I wish and it down. will turn into like a like a tumbleweed <laughs> <laughs> because it would just be a ball of fur just kind of like rolling around in a... And you're like trying to catch it with the vacuum and it's like yeah. just chilling. Yeah, it's it's pretty funny. Or like, like I, step by step down the stairs. I, I walk by too fat, it it just goes up the stairs. <laughs> um yeah, if I walk by like 
an area and then like the dust will <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck yeah see that's why so i, I kind of i've thought about having an animal like you're just living alone because i'm like i'm so lonely you know uh but it'd be good for you yeah uh, yeah well i mean i not only do i not want to pay like the, the animal fee and shit you should get a fish i'm not getting a fish because i'll kill the fish why would you do that because it's it's a fish what are you supposed to do what life can i give a fish a happy life. I can't give the fish like an Adidas fucking jumpsuit. <laughs> Anyways, so like I thought about having an animal and I would not want a dog because not only do I, you know, it's a gamble on, you know, the dog like separation anxiety and shit. Like mm-hmm. if it's like Simba, Simba has terrible and saying, um, so, um, societal, and, what? Am I okay? Mm-hmm. Um, he has terrible uh, separation anxiety. Shit. Mm. Uh, so like he barks nonstop. So I don't want to do that because I live in an apartment. Yeah. And I don't want to get the cops calling me for animal abuse. So I'm just gonna, you know, I'm, I was thinking maybe a cat, but then also like I just don't want to deal with the hair. Right. <laughs> I just don't want to. I don't want to like live off lint rollers. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I can't. That's honestly, that's like the one of the main reasons. It's not even the responsibility. It's the the fucking. I just don't want to do. Just don't want the hair, and mm-hmm. I don't want a hairless cat. I want a tortie, a calico cat, so I can name him Umbreon, like the Pokemon. Cool. Yeah. So like, you know, I'm I'm in a sh- I'm in a shit of turns, man. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, I, but the thing is, I prefer, you know, I love ducks, mm-hmm. but I, I don't know, between a cat and a dog person, I guess, it depends on what situation I am in, I am in. The one you're in right now. I'm a cat person. <laughs> <laughs> now, if I were to have, like, a family and shit, mm-hmm. dog and cats. Dog and cats. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, I've I've just never owned a dog and like I mean, it would be interesting to have one, but like I obviously I don't have any experience yeah. with it and I I see a lot of people in my neighborhood that have dogs and they're always fucking walking <laughs> these creatures, man. You can train all them to use the day pack. long and I'm like, "What the fuck, man?" How do you have time to do this? You gotta make time, bro. Make time. Bro, when I take care of Simba, he wakes <sighs> me up at 3 in the morning every fucking time he sleeps over. Every time he sleeps over. He wakes me up at 3 in the morning by kissing mm. me on my on my face. And I'm like, Simba, go back to sleep. Simba, go back to sleep. And he just starts clawing at me. And he mm. starts clawing at me. And I'm like, what do you want? And then he goes down. He has like a little step, like a little ladder mm-hmm. over my bed. And he goes down. And I follow him. And he goes straight to the door. And I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. I can't I can't deal with this right now, dude. It's three in the morning. Mm-hmm. And I need to sleep. And you need to yeah. sleep. And mm-hmm. they they he just loves doing that shit. Whenever mm-hmm. I go to my stepdad's house, the very first thing he does is he gives me kisses. And he, mm-hmm. goes, he sits on the couch, he waits like three seconds, and then he runs off and he tries to go outside with me. I'm like, fuck. Mm-hmm. It's mad annoying. That's why I kind of prefer a cat in that way, because it's like less responsibility, less yeah. having to sacrifice to make that time to give them a walk. Mm-hmm. But you can train them to use the potty pad. The uh, the pat, whatever. Uh, the tra- Simba was trained. When we lived in an apartment, we didn't really go outside too much, like walk him, only just for like stress relieving type things. But mm-hmm. like in terms of like peeing and pooping, he learned how to use the pad. I'm a fucker. He, he abused that shit though. You know what he would do? <laughs> whenever, cause we would give him a treat. So mm-hmm. um, every time he knew that whenever he like pee or pooped on the pad, on the pad, he would get a treat. Mm-hmm. So. What he would do is he would always like pee or poop and then just come directly to us like all happy and shit and then show us so we can give him the treat. What he started doing though, this motherfucker's smart, bro. He started whenever he had to poop, he would poo only half of what he had to do. Get you know get the pro get the treat, wait ten minutes and then poop out the other half. <laughs> motherfucker's smart, bro. Yeah, he's smart. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, manipulative motherfucker, man. But so, I love that little motherfucker. So the treat, you know, if it's like a little, uh, you know, biscuit bone or whatever, you just uh-huh. break it in half, give him half. No, it's not a little biscuit bone. It's like uh-huh. a little, it was like a little one, like a little one, like a little uh, one. Okay. Yeah, the size of like an M&M, but like it's gotcha. like a candy apple, whatever, or not candy apple, but like apple, whatever the fuck. You know, one of those training. It's uh, one of those sour warheads. Here you go. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> It's a jawbreaker. <laughs> <laughs> it's a jawbreaker. Uh, yeah. That's funny. Yeah, so I mean, it was a little one, but it wasn't that big of a deal, but it's like, damn, bro. You, mm-hmm. Yo. He acts like we don't feed him. Oh, every fucking night, man. Well, actually, every meal. So with oh, with our with our cats, yeah. um, Salem freaks out like... He's never been fed before in his life every fucking time we feed him. And then Pistachio just gets pissed off at him because he's making a ruckus. And he's, he's like, bolting back and forth. And so she's, like, smacking the hell out of him. <laughs> and, you know, just getting pissed off at him. And, and I'm just like, would you fucking stop? And I'm, like, you know, pouring the, the food in, the bowls and... Oh my god! Dude, my cat, Every fucking time, man. My it's brother's the same cats don't—they don't run around. They know that you, we have to go into the garage to get the food, and then you know go into the patio. Mm-hmm. So when they're hungry, they just—you just, just hear them bitching, meow, meow, and they're just right next to the garage mm-hmm. door, just looking up at the door doorknob, just thinking like, mm-hmm. if I could twist, if I had just th- thumbs, oh. if I had thumbs, the things I would do. Well, pistachio, well. If if a door is shut and she wants to get through the door, uh-huh. um, she will reach up with both paws and start smacking the shit out of the door handle. <laughs> so you got, well, you know, just the rattling of the door handle sounds like somebody is just smacking the shit out of it, yeah. but it's her. And we're... The first time we heard it, we're like, the fuck is going on? Is this, like, like hail. house possessed? <laughs> it's fucking <You> know. hail. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> um, but no, she's she's something else. Simba would scratch at the door. When uh, when we lived at, on the apartment, like, me, my mom, my stepdad, when we first got Simba, mm-hmm. he would, like, whenever, my, you know, I would sleep with the door closed, obviously, because it's weird. Um... At least back then. I don't know. Now I sleep with the door open. But anyways, I digress. Uh, yeah, in the mornings, he would wake up at like 7, and I wake up at like 7.30 for school. Uh, mm-hmm. First thing he does, bro, he comes straight to my door. Fucking smack, 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 smack. Mm-hmm. No, he wouldn't smack you. He'd scratch it. Oh. That's all I hear. And I'm like, fuck. I wish I can get a doggy door or some shit, bro, because I'm mm-hmm. not going to get up, walk over there. Mm-hmm. And Simba's not like a big dog. It's not like we can like do like a rope or anything, and he'd have enough strength to like pull it down. You know, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm getting creative with it. I'm like, fuck, dude. Sure. Um, would he be like scratching up the door? No, like he's small. He's a small. You've seen Simba. He's not a big dog. He's it's like a little Maltese, but um, you, you wouldn't see the scratches, but uh, you can hear that motherfucker. Mm. Oh, it, it was audible for sure. Mm-hmm. Um. So yeah, I mean, I understand people when they, you know, if they prefer dogs or cats. I definitely understand mm-hmm. like the there's pros and cons for all of them. If you want yeah. like some uh, an animal that's like you know doesn't look like he's gonna fucking murder you every time that you, you see him, mm-hmm. you definitely want a dog. But mm-hmm. if you want something that you don't have to take care of like a little kid for the next ten years of your life, then yeah, you're mm-hmm. gonna get a cat. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, cats just look like fucking like like a bunch of like secret sleeper agents. Just waiting to be activated, just so they can murder you. <laughs> tell me, it's, tell me it's not. And the day to day is just to get confident, get you confident, so then you know you don't suspect mm-hmm. anything when they, you know, in the middle of the night, <laughs> <laughs> right in the jugular. <laughs> You've been watching too much, too many movies. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> movies are based off real stories. Yeah, where, where did they come from, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Everything's based off a true story. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So yeah, well I think that oh, shit. If I can get what? God damn it! Did you break your ear? There you go. Yeah, maybe. Right, yeah. yeah. So what, what? What do you guys think? Uh, you know, the the two of you that's listening to us. Uh, do you think it's uh, you know, do do you prefer cats versus dogs, oh, or 
are you that weird third person that apparently doesn't deserve to be here, according to David? Yeah. Tell us who you are uh, in the comments below. Or, you know, if you're listening to Spotify, go to YouTube and put it on the comments below, too. That's right. If you're only hearing us and you can't see us, we are on the tubes of you. Yeah. Or YouTube, I guess, is also what the kids call it these days. Something like that. Yeah, come on, I got the braids on, man. Yeah, I got the braids you got you got to, you know, like, smash that share button, ring the bell, and uh, uh, comment uh, on, uh, you know, uh, David's braids. Call, you know, Should he continue David. doing these braids? I'm just waiting to get called out for cultural appropriation. Just waiting for it. And if you are seeing us and you just don't want to see us anymore, you can just listen to our beautiful voices, voices. on Spotify, Anchor.com, Apple Podcasts, and many more. And many more. <laughs> so thank you for listening to another episode. Hopefully we'll be back next week if uh, nothing breaks down while we're taking it apart. Yeah, yeah, as long as everything still stands and, you know, it's all one piece and it sounds good and yeah, everything so, happens right. So as it stands, mm -hmm. we'll see you next week. That's right. Exactly. Deuces. Bye-bye. Where are we at now? Negative what? Infinity. Ah, negative infinity. Uh, negative ten. Negative ten. Negative on 10. the left and right. As in negative ten subscribers, because we can't fucking upload anything. And we're on negative forty on channel one and two, and that's right, man. It's costing us money every month. <laughs> <laughs> Three pennies a year, Andy. <laughs> you ready for this? I don't even know what the fuck a, a podcast is supposed to, supposed to be like now. I forgot what the fuck this is. Yeah. What do we do? Oh, shit. The background. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can just change the settings in Streamlabs to record this background. Oh. So we don't have to fucking do this shit. Yeah. You know, max that frame. Nope. Wrong window. Files, you bitch. are so rusty. <laughs> uh, you're gonna do display capture. I guess properties, and you're gonna tell it to grab that one. Yeah. Now look at that. Now we can actually watch ourselves. Yeah. Okay. Jeez, can you pick a fucking shirt that's not green next time? No. So I we have like 19 fucking <laughs> remotes here. What year is this? <laughs> and this episode is brought to you by Scooter's Coffee. Stutter's Coffee? Stutter's Coffee, Pepe. St 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 Stutter's Coffee. Oh. <laughs>